Hi guys, Heinrich here for Guitar Gallery. Today we have well, a special guitar. It looks like a classic Strat. It feels like a classic Strat. It has a classic Strat bite to it. I've played for quite a while. Yes, see, it sounds amazing. I'm going to try and explain, well not explain, just show you what it can do. This is the PRS SE Silver Sky, John Mayer model. So, John Mayer, my wife has been a fan for a long time. He has a very long career, so very, oh, a variety of different playing styles. And obviously I think this guitar had to lend itself to all these different playing styles. From his neat poppy kind of playing up to his trio that you've seen live where he does this dirty kind of blues feel. And then all the strummy chords and things and this poppy record that he just released, the 80s kind of feel. That has to be in there as well. So, just a quick run through. So, this is a poplar body. Um, it has a maple neck, quite standard. Then, obviously, your rosewood fretboard. Very pretty inlay, so not just your standard dot inlays. It's the classic PRS kind of birdie feel. Um, but then, also, the hardware and everything. They've tried and did like a whole classic Strat feel. I like this little, yeah, you can see there's a black line in there on the scratch plate. And then the knob is a slight bit different. I don't know how the patents and things work, but very pretty. This is handy. I usually play with an L piece, but it's kind of cool now with the straight over there. It has a tremolo as well. And yeah, the strange thing is, is to see this guitar with this headstock. So <laughs> it's like the wonky body, but then you have, you know, like an old guy face with a symmetrical mohawk almost. Vintage tuners, they are very comfortable, they tune so easily and smoothly. I had no trouble now at the moment. I did some bends and things, it does stay in tune, it depends on your strings as well, I guess what you're playing. But I'm very impressed at the moment with the build quality. I guess with the SE, it is not like the premier top models. Um, so it's an affordable guitar and we'll get playing just now. When I was a kid, PRS was also, it was this kind of unattainable guitar. It had this very exquisite flame maple top finish things and lots of inlays and Santana and all those folks played with it. So this guitar now feels like, boom, they're coming home a bit, which is very nice. I'm glad a premier company like PRS is building something like this. Right, to explain the pickup configuration, so over here we have three single coils, classic five-way selector. So you can hear there's a bit of dirt on that. Once you select two of them together, it's very quiet. Then this one is just in the middle, and then here you can use these two, and then that one at the bottom. It gives you a lot of different options. So I'm just gonna play some chords so you can just hear what it does. classic neck pickup. Then I blend it with a bit of middle pickup. All of a sudden you can just hear a bit of like a mid-tone nasally kind of influence that gets in there as well. pickup I would suggest ah, that's usually the pickup where I do overdubs with if you have like nice twangy chords that you need to get in there so that sounds very punchy great then these two There you get that kind of tone that you are used to. Quite the the bitey. Very punchy, very responsive kind of tone. And then obviously. 
obviously you have these dirty gritty bass notes there. Then when you go down to the bottom one, you have a very trebly kind of response. That uh, will lend it to some some nice leads if you want to put it in there. It's quite sharp if you have to like but I guess if you do solos and you really need to cut through the mix it's gonna sound great. Alright so what I'm gonna do is we have a JP LaRue amp like last time with the other guitars as well the bass is just notched off a bit we have the mids in the middle I add a bit of treble just to get some extra splash in there and then I have reverb on as you can hear it's quite a bit but um yeah we all play a nice decent reverb if we are playing a few solo stuff then the gain is on about four so it's not very high gain it's just to add a bit of grunt I'm gonna play some chords now I'm gonna loop it it's an analog box looper so nothing gets done to the tone and then I'm just gonna do some lead work over that in the different pickup positions so you can hear how it responds gave you quite a good idea of how all the different pickup selections switch uh, it gives you different tones at the moment I would just set up the pickups in your own way I would set this one up a bit lower bring this one maybe a bit closer as you could have heard when I heard like use the neck pickup it was quite sharp each to his own I would use that in different ways in the studio for instance on my telly as well and my other the Ibanez I have I tend to always use the neck pickup that's just personal preference it just has a bit more of a broader tone I like that nasally kind of feel that it has over there splendid let me show you the other colors that it has as well this is moon white which is a lovely name and when I saw the picture it almost looked like it had a bit of a relic vibe to it which means if you toured with it for years then you kind of would get this color which is lovely it kind of really gives me that vintage feel which is nice to have in a guitar as well it doesn't feel as fresh you know like something you get from the 
shop and then it feels like it's yours for years already. Perfect. All right, here we have the dragon fruit. We just discussed the color, so we can't really put our finger on it, but it's, it's really striking. And usually on stage, if you play with like purple and blue and depending on how good the guys are with the stage lights, but then it will really pronounce those colors. And I think it will really look unique. I like it a lot. It's not my favorite between the three. I like the green. I'll show you the green a bit later. But this is really nice. So, this guitar... It's not a lazy guitar. It really punches the tone. So, it, it doesn't feel, how can I say, like a sponge. It really sits up front. Um, when you play finger style as well, then you need to be quite careful because it's so responsive that you don't get too much of that noise. So for single coils, this is really, really punchy. I do like it. I'm going to play a little ditty and then we'll see what happens. As you can hear, I try to like show you the dynamic range. If you really dig into it, it does have a very nice grit. Now, partly it's the amp's fault as well, but this guitar has a very wide range. And then if you put it into it, that you hear those snaps. If you do a little hammer on or something, it's very clear and bright, and it punches through. Even if you have a chord where you play all six notes and you just do a little. Very pronounced. I do like this. Right, so John Mayer's playing style, he does a lot of thumb over kind of vibes. The neck, this neck is comfortable. It's quite standard. You'll be used to it if you're used to any Strat or even like Tellies, which are a bit more chunky and sometimes C shape, but very comfortable. You'll get your thumb over there. If you have big chunky hands like me, then you just use your fingers on top as well. But really accessible, neatly done. All three guitars felt like quality. So it's not like, yeah, you get uh, certain guitars when you have in a lower range as well. Um, not the premium range from that brand, but then uh, they might be one or two out of the five or six that you play that feels slightly different. This is not the case. So he does a lot of kind of finger picking things. We have alternating bass and melody. Sounds very nice. Let's do it with a plectrum, same thing. Let's go into some, some noisy stuff. So I'm going to use this neck pickup first. I'm not going to go in here. Even though you can hear it's really, wow. That will sit in the front if you have a full band and you have bass and drums. I would say in a trio, that's basically what John Mayer does. This will give you all the tones you do need. Even if you're just a lead guitarist, 
I did some high gain playing earlier. It's a bit loose. It's not obviously like your LTDs or Ibanez that has a smooth gain output. But those guitars as well doesn't give you as much richness when you have a bit of a cleaner tone. And a lot of the playing these days, people always think you need to add more gain to get more intensity. That's not the truth. Let's keep it a bit clean and then play a bit here, see what this does. five different pickup selections have a listen again always use your earphones as well just to have those little nuances that you can pick up to see which tones you like the most my favorite pickup selection switch setting using these two yeah Typical strat problem, I keep on hitting it with my pinky. So, there's a lot of like workarounds and fixes. On my telly, it's obviously this way and you can't really hit it. If you play with this, just pop something in there or put a sticker or something. And then the other thing is this middle pickup. It's always one that I hit. I picked it up the first time I did some recordings and then you have a little bit of pickup noise. So, depending on where you play and if you stand as well, but I mean, if you're used to a Strat or you're looking at buying one, then you just make those small adjustments. I remember with one of my first guitars, it didn't have this very nice little slant. So if we toured a lot and played a lot of gigs, then I end up having a very sore arm on that side. But it feels ergonomically very good. It's well balanced. I didn't use a strap now whatsoever and I feel very comfortable. Um, all in all, I really had fun playing this. Awesome stuff. <laughs>